Welcome to Marriage and Life Stories with Kansime. I come to your screens today once again. Thank you for always having me. To all the returning guests, thank you so much for coming. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. And if you have not subscribed, please look at that subscribe button. Take this moment and you look at it and kindly subscribe. It means so much to me. And it gives me that energy to keep churning in more educative videos and we all go together. To all the new guests, thank you. However, in whatever manner you found out this, thank you so much. And I pray that you will subscribe, that you are going to like, and you're going to share the link. You're going to call all your friends to come. There are over 22 videos. I pray that you will uh, be able to to look at the 22 videos and um, subscribe and like and ask your friends to come and grow. And so today we are looking at a, a big health challenge. It's a really huge one. These days, people are taking lots of medications. Now, those medications, they clog the, the kidneys, they clog the liver, and then all that toxins that the liver should be filtering out of your blood is churned back into your blood system now the moment that it is churned back into your blood system it goes deeper and deeper deforming your cells bringing in um too much cholesterol you have seen some people who take medication and and they have swollen swollen backs the stomachs are swollen and then they are thinning on one place and then they have you know swellings in the armpit it means the blood is intoxicated is is toxic not intoxicated the blood is toxic it is toxic to that level that it starts throwing these toxins in whatever place you even swell in your private parts you, you get some swellings there you even start getting everything everywhere that this blood can throw the toxins you get a swelling there it doesn't stop there it brings heart attacks the moment your blood is intoxicated. Uh, there is a buildup of cholesterol uh, from those medications you take, from the fats that we take, from the weather conditions we are breathing in. Basically, the moment the blood is very toxic, it means everything that you're working on, you're busy accumulating cholesterol, your blood vessels are getting thin and thinner, until you develop clots and then you also your cells become deformed and that is where we get cancer and so the moment this cancer comes then that means we are getting to the end of, of your life uh, excuse me i need to look for something for my writing i have written something that i need to to look out for and um, where did my book for? Where did my paper for? Where did my paper for? Okay. Paper my paper. It's, it's here. It's here. Okay, so what we are making today, we are making a recipe. We are going to make a drink, a home remedy that is going to work to clean your blood thoroughly well, to remove the toxins and give your blood capacity to, to, to push them out of your system. We are going to use this uh, homemade recipe. It helps to dissolve um, the, the cholesterol that, that destroys the lining of your blood vessel. Now, what we are going to use, we are using uh, red wine, and we're using this garlic. This is fresh local garlic, uh, the, 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 the local one, not the white one. So this is a fresh grown local garlic. Uh, it is well washed uh, in, in um, vinegar and salt water to remove every you know, toxic substance that may be on it. Uh, and I've used this to, to grind it. And uh, I bought this, uh, I'm not advertising for any, but I bought this liter of red wine because it is very, very important. Now, I must warn you, don't abuse alcohol. 
I am not saying go and drink wine. You will drink it. It is going to, 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 to bring you trouble. And then, um, let's talk about the usefulness of red wine. Now, red wine has a, a substance that we call resveretol. It's R A E S V E R A T R O L. Now, this resveratrol is a very powerful antioxidant in this red wine. But of course, there is the. If I had the, the money, I would buy the the very uh, the best wine that is close close to the grape that is called Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir is like the best, best, best wine that I should have used this. But this one is very close. It is also very good. It has this resveratrol uh, uh, antioxidant, uh, it's, which helps in removing, uh, lowering cholesterol from your blood. And it also uh, helps in um, stopping blood clots. Uh, this wine, the red wine, also has another chemical, another substance called polyphenols, of which resveratrol is one. It protects the lining of the blood vessel. Now, when you have protection of the lining of the blood vessel and uh, the, the other antioxidant that removes cholesterol, it means we are close, close to, to what we really need. Uh, this red wine plus this that I'm going to mix, it also helps to remove fat from the liver. Now, people die from liver cancer because the liver is overwhelmed. Remember, the liver is the filter for the blood. It filters out all toxins uh, from the blood. Now, if you do not help this liver to recover from those toxins, then you will definitely have liver cancer. And you are going to have liver cancer from the medications you take, and it's going to be, you know, very dangerous. These days, if you realize people are dying, they are dying so much of cancer, they are dying of heart attacks. Why is it happening? These are things which build on over time. And this remedy, much as I'm going to tell you that I'm not a doctor, God knows that at one time when I was over size 22, my cholesterol was so high and I had to work out the safest way of to remove of removing that cholesterol from my body and uh, what I'm sharing for you has worked for me it has worked so well my body is lean I don't have fats on the liver I don't have stones in my kidney by the grace of God I am fine but I must warn you I am not a doctor I only share with you what works for me so whenever you're going to go take something make sure you know what your medical personnel told you if your medical personnel told you don't take wine please don't so this is what worked for me and this is what i want to share with you and it will work for you if you have been told you have diabetes this is the medication that is going to help you and i'll give you the doses so i am not asking you to drink wine i am asking you to take it as medication so even in the bible someone told uh, his disciple that uh, take a little because it is made it is it has curative um, uh, effects. Now, this red wine, I'm going to pour it in the glass. This is one liter. Um, this is one liter of the red wine. I normally buy this one liter whenever I'm making for someone or I am making for myself to keep. I buy this one liter. It works out very well for me. And now remember everything that you use, you have to use glass. Use glass containers. Never, never use a plastic in these medications. In these home remedies, uh, natural remedies. So I have my, my liter of wine and uh, these are um, seven bulbs seven bulbs. The small ones are called, um, okay, the whole onion, the whole garlic, with all those small, small globs inside. So this is the whole bulb, the bulb, the big one, with the small ones inside. I used seven because that is what um, is going to be enough mixture. Don't take 
when on its own it has high alcohol content now that high alcohol content is what is going to be used to burn the fat but you have to mix it with this one which is a very high uh, alkaline to get the exact balance that works i must warn you if you are on a weight losing uh, uh if you want to gain weight this one is going to make you lose weight so if you want to gain weight i don't know you will come and we talk about it that after that you have lost the cholesterol your blood sugar is stable and your liver is clean and your kidney is clean then you can work on losing weight but it will make you to lose weight because it deals with uh, belly fat um, and then the liver fat as it purifies the blood so now we are going to put in this high alkaline in garlic i used uh, this nut cracker nut cracker to to grind uh, my garlic uh, seven cloves okay um, i'm going to mix these ones in red wine sorry escaping from my hand okay We've talked about the advantages, the polyphenols and reserve straw. I spelled it for you that are in red wine. They are very key in removing the cholesterol from your blood and removing fats from your liver. Remember, the percentage of alcohol in wine is too high, and that is why we are using this garlic. Garlic is an excellent blood cleaner too. It's, it removes um, toxins, it helps your body to filter the, the blood. I'll put this which is part of the tree. This which is part of the tree. Okay, so the garlic will help um, your blood to thin, and the moment the blood thins, then it becomes uncomfortable for bacteria and viruses to, to stay in your blood. And remember, garlic is antiviral. It is the strongest antivirus that we have, the natural antiviral. Now, this, apart from removing fats and cholesterol from your blood and thinning the blood, it also kills viruses in your blood. It also works on belly fat, the fats that are these bad fats that lie in the stomach but you have to be careful at the way you mix them now that i've finished mixing them this wine removes the smell from the garlic it uh, descends wine and honey they descend the garlic so if you're worried about the smell of the garlic you're not going to have the smell even now as i've just put it in there is no smell of garlic it is basically the, the, the sweet scent of the of the wine um, when I have finished mixing them I am going to use a net a net and cover or a sieve and cover the top of this jug this glass jug and I'm going to put this jug on light sunlight where there is sunlight where it comes from the from outside in the morning I'll put it out for a couple of hours like two hours in a shed but it gets sunlight it absorbs vitamin d as well anything you put outside absorbs vitamin d so i'll put this outside or in the house where they or near the window where there's direct sunlight coming in the house for two weeks don't use it before two weeks there has to be a process of fermentation uh, is it fermentation or fusion that takes place and then this will turn from the two components to make one component. Now, this one I am going to put in the sun. It is going to be in the sun on, by the windowsill for two weeks. And when the two weeks have passed, I am going to sieve and put in a glass bottle. Now, when I put in the glass bottle, the dose is, you take two tablespoons, these tablespoons, two in the morning, and two in the afternoon and two in the evening. It is best you take it one hour before you eat food. So when you wake up in the morning, you've drunk your lemon water or you've drunk the warm water to cleanse uh, your colon, uh, to stabilize your immune system. 
Then after one hour, before you eat breakfast, take this, two spoons. Before you eat your lunch, take two spoons. In the evening, take two spoons. After one month, if you have been faithful, in fact, if you are on a therapy and you want to recover, come we talk. Let's make a diet plan. Then after one month, go back to your doctor and have him check you. I guarantee you, you will come to thank me for this mixture. Thank you so much for watching. Now the best gift you can give me is to subscribe to my channel and to make others people, other people also know about this channel. Uh, it's called Marriage. If they go to YouTube and they check Marriage and Life Stories with Kansime, they will find this channel. Marriage and Life Stories with Kansime. They will find this channel. Let them subscribe. Let them watch. Let them support me and I will continue helping you. This is the medication to detox your body from, med from the medication you've been taking, to remove fat from your liver, to sieve your blood and basically give you that glowing skin that you have always desired and to give you a stronger immune system. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for subscribing. God bless you.